Hello guys, welcome to this channel. In this video, I will show you how to create this render. Okay, first we need to have a product or any object you want. If you wanted to know how I create this object, you can check out my other video. And for the render setting, I'm using cycle here. I'm using filmic and high contrast. And let's expand over here, Just drag like this, press Shift A, I'm gonna add a camera, let's put it here, at this window, change it to camera view, and for this camera resolution, go to the output property here, I'm using 1440 and 1920, just like this, let's move it here. And our object here, let's rotate it a little bit like this. And press Shift A, mess, add a plan as to scale it. I'm gonna expand over here and change it to Asset Browser. I have a 3D Asset Browser over here, and it's all free. You can check out my other video if you wanted to know how to get this 3D asset browser. And I'm gonna strike to material. I'm gonna use ground egg over here and just click, drag like this. Now we have something like this. I'm gonna select prop. I'm gonna use this one, just click and drag like this. I'm gonna scale it. And let's put it here. over here and duplicate it. Yep, just like this. And I'm gonna use this one again. Just click and drag, scale it. Just put it here. Yep, just something like this. And shift D, I'm gonna duplicate it and press slash, tap to the edit mode. You need to see what I'm doing here. I'm gonna use this at the big rock to select one of these vertices, just like this. And I'm gonna press Ctrl L to select everything, and I'm gonna press Ctrl I. To invert and press X, delete the vertices. That's it. Now I have one rock here. I'm gonna tap the object mode and press less again. And for this object, I'm gonna rotate it RX 90 degree. As to scale it like this. Okay, just like this. Next, I'm gonna change this to Shader Editor. And I'm gonna select this plane. And change the color over here. Let's make it darker. And this one. Let's see at the material preview. Just make it gray. Okay. Just like this. Let's set up the light. Go to the word property here, let's make it zero. And here I'm gonna enable the scene light and scene work. So we have a dark here. I'm gonna shift A, light, area light, Rx minus 90 degree. Press G, Y, I'm gonna put it here. Press G, Z. 
and let's change the power. Let's make it. Scale it S, Y. Press S and Z. Scale it on the Z axis. And X axis. Yeah, just something like this. And we're gonna need a spotlight. Press GZ, put it here. Let's increase the power, maybe 1000. Let's change it to. Let's rotate it, put it here. Yeah, something like this, I guess. And I'm gonna select this area light, safety to duplicate it. I'm gonna go to the top view and R 90 degree. Press G X. I'm gonna put it here. Next, I'm gonna press Shift A, mess, add a cube. I'm gonna scale this up like this. And I'm gonna add a new material. Select my principal BSDF here and X to delete. And press Shift A, search for volume. I'm gonna select this principal volume. Click here and connect volume to volume. I'm gonna change the density here by 0 0.01, like this. Now we have something like this. Probably let's change this. Let's say. Let's expand this. So we can see the difference. I'm gonna hide this cube first. And bring it back. You can see the difference, right? And I'm gonna change the color. Let's make it like something like this. Let's move this over here. And press GX. As you can see, if we move this cube, Tap to edit mode, like this, Alt Z, and select all of these vertices, GX, put it something like this, probably here, yep, you can see the render result, and for this one, maybe, let's select this, press GX, We only need to adjust the light. I guess this one is enough. Back to object mode and we're gonna change this. Okay. Let's try to increase the area light power here. Let's make it 5000. Cool, right? And let's probably change this material. Material property here. It have a three different material. Let's see what we're gonna change. Not this one. How about this one? Nope. Okay. This one. Gonna connect this one over here and color space here. 
I'm going to change it to non-color. Shift A, search, color M. Just click here. And change the color. Let's make it brown. Let's make it darker. And this one, let's make it lighter. This is just the color, but if you just like the first color, you don't need to change it. But I'm gonna change with this one. Okay, I like this one. And we need to select our camera here. Let's enable the depot fill. Select like this and click this eyedrop. Click on our M. Click this eyedrop and I'm gonna select the label. Just like this. I'm gonna reduce the F sub. For the render here, I guess I'm just gonna use 15 sample. And let's try to render it. Done with the render. Let's minimize this first and let's try to add a compositing. Use not here and add your render layer. Shift control and click just like this. We can move this here. Let's try to add a color balance. Put it here. Shift control just like this. And we can adjust it. I like this one and press shift A let's add a glare let's click and just put it here I'm gonna change this strict to fog glow and that's it I guess we are done here and thank you for watching